out of nowhere, we got a pretty massive overhaul and some content and massive changes. Which saved up 7.6? Why not 5? Why not 8? I don't really get the names to keep sometimes, but that's okay. Let's actually go one of the first biggest overhauls that they've done in this update. The first one is Afterlife, Casual, and Beginner's Grace. To those initiating the mod pack, Beginner's Grace is basically a grace period where if you died, you return back to the overworld with all your gear and items intact. But, everything that you've looted and the XP you would gain is actually gone. You'd have this buff until about level 20. This was level 10 until, I believe, update 6, where you actually have to apply a Phoenix, which actually got changed as well, or Afterlife after level 20. But applying Afterlife would actually smack two curses that give you 50% XP instead of your full 100, but Phoenix wouldn't. Casual mode is basically endless grace. I don't personally play casual mode, but if you do, that's you. Now, on paper, this doesn't seem like much of an issue, besides maybe your loot and XP just going down the drain. That is until you start doing it in co-op, where you would actually give someone your items, like your gear, and, I and just everything else, and die. Which would also prompt your co-op partner to also die. But the problem is, your co-op partner would have all your duped gear. That's an issue. So, what did change? Well, a lot actually. Now, if you die, you still keep all your gear, obviously. But you also keep all your goodies as well until your point of death. The punishment now is a durability loss on all your gear, which is dependent on what you do in the vaults, i.e. open chests, treasure rooms, mine ores, you name it. And with no progress to the vault, you would take no damage. However, with Soulbound, these items don't actually take any Dura hit. Pog Soulbound buff. Since they would actually be unaffected by the death itself in the first place. But there's more. If you happen to run any kind of vault in a co-op like these, such as Afterlife, Beginner's Grace, and or Casual, and you die, your co-op partner will actually not die. That's really good. So it's not an end, end of run, and you're not going to scream at your friends because your friends died. I'm kind of guilty of this. Not the dying part, the other part. I'm so sorry for my friends that are watching this. Now, in regards to afterlife vaults, callous fragments can be found within them now, and random modifiers can also roll. And lastly, crab walk, confused, and Jupiter gravity was removed. Sad, I actually liked crab walk. With poor and unlucky substituting. Poor is basically 50% item quantity, and unlucky is something ar around there, but for rarity. As I mentioned before, Phoenix also got a change as well. Because, if you didn't know, this was basically what Afterlife would have done, minus the curses. Now, it acts like a totem. Totem rejo re enjoyers fucking rejoice, why don't you? Because I remember when everybody was mad about totems, even though you know how broken they were. Rejoice! So upon taking lethal damage, it will actually resurrect you back, do damage to the mobs in an AoE, and regen your health. This fizzles the Phoenix, Phoenix, but you can now stack them infinitely. I'm guessing even like with exhaust and all that, I think. I, like, I don't know. It used to actually exhaust, I don't think it exhausts anymore. Cake vaults are now a different thing that also got changed. Now, every cake consumed would actually now give the mobs two extra damage, but would also give you item quantity, item rarity, or fragment chance, one of the two or three options. As you see, we got two anger and two delicious. That's fantastic. The goal of the cakes now went from 20 to 20 to 40 to 20 to 60. This is basically about the journey now and not the end. So let's actually go over some of the major buffs or changes, I guess you would say, as well. Some of them might make you upset, but I personally understand. 
first of them, tools actually kind of received a minor little change. When using the spirit extractor, every tool will now be based on its tier, with the first two tiers actually costing nothing, which is great. So that means if you want to run chromatic stuff or, black, or chromatic steel, cool, you don't lose anything out of it. Just you gotta keep in mind about the capacity stuff I talked about in the last one. However, the durability has also changed a little bit on what you're breaking. Spawners will take 10 times the amount of durability, 3 times on wooden, sad, and 75% less though on gilded, ornate, and living. On paper, this actually doesn't seem too bad, and running with it also doesn't really seem too bad either. It's kind of unnoticeable, but there is somewhat of a difference. Gear also got a nice buff in the lower levels. Thank God! So, when the vault is lower of your levels, around 6, I believe, you would take less durability damage, around 25%, to basically nothing almost. I know. I'm personally rejoicing because all my friends are lower than I am, like almost level 15 and they're like level 20 and I take so much durability damage. Anyways, I'm just projecting here. Another thing that I, I'm not going to say if I like it or not, but item quantity and rarity doesn't affect treasure rooms. Hmm. There are some more changes to catalyst fragments such as they now appear wooden only instead of gilded. And they appear at level 24 instead of like what level zero because that's kind of where they're starting to be used at prosperous soul hunting item quantity and ready can no longer roll in the catalyst fragment and now they're basically just time extensions and chests and i guess coins too they count too which is fine i guess i can now purposely run gilded or coins only hey <laughs> money now there's actually a lot more changes I haven't went over and also a quality of life update that introduced basically what every single roguelike would actually introduce. It's a version called Entropy, but you can look at that yourself. Every single roguelike kind of has it. If you really want to look at more changes, I implore you to go at vaulthunters.gg or the red for more information on that. Right now the patch notes aren't actually on Hunters DG, so just keep looking there or go on the Reddit, okay? I gotta go on the Reddit to get the pace bins for this. You're welcome. If you wish me to do more content like this, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like. Hell, even comment saying, yeah, do more of this! And if you want to see me do it live, I'm streaming over at twitch.tv slash strikeforce underscore. I try to stream semi-regularly, but I have really bad physical health. So bear with me. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time in three weeks when update eight hits. I'm going to miss you guys.